This demonstration will show you some of the basic features of the Dev C++ IDE, or Integrated Development Environment. It is assumed that Dev C++ has been successfully installed. Key points of this demonstration will include starting Dev C++, compiling, and running the debugger. So let's get started. Most often, I start from my source code or programs, as we see here as opposed to starting the IDE and then loading my code. I set up a folder structure similar to what you see here to keep things organized. The program file that I want to use for this demonstration is in the test folder. You may want to set up individual folders for the various assignments that you have and you can set up any number of them. Now since Files ending in .c++ or CPP <clears throat> are associated with the dev C++ IDE. All I need to do is open the file and the IDE will also open. Now one very useful thing is to turn on line numbers. That's done by going to Tools, Editor Options, Display, and then selecting line numbers. This is extremely helpful when we're talking together on the over Skype and uh, I can refer to line numbers rather than trying to describe the line that I'm looking at. The first step is to compile a program and run it. This is done by going to execute and compile. When the compile is done the status will indicate and you can close it. We can run the program now by simply going to execute and run. So <clears throat> the program stops at this point waiting for the person to put in the number of candy bars and the weight. So we can say 5 and 2, press enter. The program is executed repeating back that there are 5 candy bars, 2 ounces each. Total weight is 10 ounces. This feature called press uh, and any key to continue. I'll explain more in a, in a minute how you get that, but what it does is it uh, pauses the program long enough so that a person can take a look at it. I press enter now and the program uh, completes execution. Let me point out that a file has been created called a .exe or executable file. We can run the program simply by opening this file and see the same results. And I'll press enter to end. This uh, file is somewhat portable in that I can take it to most Windows machines and it will execute exactly the same way. Um, it won't however, I wouldn't expect it to work on Unix or Apple or any other environment other than Windows. So let's take a look at uh, compiler errors now. I'll do that by removing this semicolon on line 15 and we'll compile again. Okay, immediately we get an error. You see it indicated the, the line number that it, uh, the compiler noticed the error on is line 16. We get some uh, messages below in the compiler uh, message area. And we see that the, the problem is in the int main function. We see the int main function on line 8. And then line 16 is where the error is. It expected a semicolon before C out. Well, here's C out. So before that is exactly the end of line 15. If we restore that, um, we can compile and it'll work correctly. Okay, so let's look at the debugger now. The first thing that we want to do is um, set some breakpoints. And that's done by double clicking your mouse, your left mouse button, in this area to the left of the line numbers. The breakpoint is indicated by a red highlight and again this check mark over the uh, little red ball. So the debugger is uh, started by going to debug up here or you can go to debug 
down in this section and press debug. Now we'll execute this program by just pressing debug and we'll see that the uh, first line of code that executed, line 15, enter the number of candy bars in a package, is already showing. The next line to execute is highlighted in blue and it's actually stopped at our breakpoint on line 16. If we step once, we'll see that line 16 executes. Here we are, and the weight in, the, uh, in ounces of one candy bar is showing in their, our display window. And we're sitting at line 17, which we're looking for the input to um, the number of bars. Uh, we don't want this. Let me remove that. We'll get back to that in a minute. So right now we're looking for input. So I can put in a 5. Uh, and I actually can't yet until I execute one more line. Okay, and we're looking for the 2 now. The next number, I'm going to press Enter. And we'll step again. And we find that the uh, values are, are um, put in. Now, if I park my cursor over the top of a variable, the variables show up in the watch list. So you can see that the number of bars equals 5 and the, uh, one weight is equal to 2. Now another variable that we would be nice to get, and I'll do it a little bit differently, is the total weight. So I'm going to double click on total weight and then add that to the watch list. Now we can see that it's already 10 because we've executed the the uh, the method or the function get weight and <clears throat> now we can simply step the program the rest of the way through and you'll see the changes in the output window okay so here's that feature I was talking about it's it's called system pause and uh, what it does is it holds the program until you had a chance to take a look at it so I can actually execute it because it's not showing in the output window as yet. Let's go ahead and execute that line. There it is. Press any key to continue. <clears throat> and so it's holding right here, uh, which again, it gives you a chance to see the output. If I press enter, then uh, the program execution moves to the last statement, next step, and the program finishes. Okay, so now I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to set a breakpoint on uh, the call to our function. And let's run to that point. And I'll actually remove this one also. And we'll just run to that point. So here we go. All right, so our output window says uh, we're looking for some values. Let's use 11 and um, 2.1 is uh, indicated in the book and um, so now we um, we end up with if I hover over the number of bars I see that I got 11 of them and if I hover over the uh, the weight I see that that's set to um, uh, 2.1 lots of zeros because this is a, uh, a double and I'm going to get rid of this return here. And uh, we see that weight is not set as yet. So if I hover over that, it should go to zero, which is what it's initialized to. Okay, so let's this time step into the function. All right, here we are. Now here we have the, the variables that are, are sent in as parameters. If we get them into the uh, the watch window, we'll see that their values are exactly uh, mirroring the values that were picked up from the, uh, the command line or the, the input window. This function simply multiplies the values together and returns that value in a double as we see in the signature of the, the function. So let's uh, go ahead and step again and we'll return and now I'm going to point out that we actually see the value for total weight 21 is actually set as we return from that uh, method. Now we can continue right to the end of the program. 
the output window is looking for uh, an enter key and we're done. So that's it. Um, so at that point, uh, now we know how to start the dev C++ from source code, how to turn on line numbers, how to compile your code, and where the compile errors are located, and how to run the debugger, step through the code, and examine the values of variables over time.